Everyone has a naked neighbour. No. I am the naked neighbour. Oh my god, that was horrid. Not That's not what use of a curtain is that? <laughs> I just showed you. No, I will be a flasher. Actually, I will blame you because. Good morning, everyone. How are we all? Welcome back to a lovely little Sunday vlog. Look how bright it is. Oh my goodness. I've been craving sun and. If you are from the UK, the storms that we've been having, oh my, oh hello, the storms that we've been having have been, well, that bad, the trees have blown down in our street, and we came back from Cornwall and our shed roof had fully blown off, <laughs> so Zara and I had like tacked tarpaulin into the top of the roof and that tarpaulin is no more. <laughs> it had cut quite No, it has, it actually had, it basically had been ripped off and then like, I don't know if a neighbour had bundled it up, but it was just in the middle of our garden in a bundle, so, yeah. But how are we all doing? How is everyone? I wasn't gonna vlog today, but I think we're actually doing some really lovely things. So I thought, when this video I'm currently filming, it's Sunday the 7th of January, 2024, and I just announced that I'm running the marathon and I put my Just Giving page live and we've already hit 500 pounds, so we're already a quarter of a way towards the goal, which is, Unfathomable, like it, it, it. I was so nervous because I know it's so much money. Like two thousand pounds is a huge amount of money, and it's a very huge ask to ask anyone to donate, especially because I'm just a stranger on the internet who puts videos out there. But your generosity has been incredible, and I cannot thank you enough because it will make a huge difference, a massive difference. And um, I was speaking to Zara about it this morning. Obviously, when you lose a family member to a, an illness like PSP, it's awful because it's neurological so yeah it's just it's i mean losing the family member losing anyone is tough but it's yeah it is it's an amazing charity and they're doing some really really fantastic work so thank you so much and even if you can't donate because i know finances are really tricky sharing the page anything like that is just wonderful so thank you very much i really got to get my gonna get my run on now i'm i'm staying comfortable at 10 kilometers so i need to pass that threshold and start doing some longer, more endurance runs. Anyway, we're gonna head to Italy this morning, which I'm very excited about. Italy is like a um, Italian supermarket in Liverpool Street in London. Uh, and we're gonna go and get some top-ups of some pasta because, <laughs> believe it or not guys, we're running low on pasta. Words I never like to say. Sorry, Laura's just doing her laundry. Um, here we are, so we've got plenty of spaghetti, um, but to be honest, we haven't really got much. <laughs> He says, I haven't got much pasta. We, we do, we absolutely do, but there's, yeah, there's variations in the small amounts of everything. So, um, we could do with some top ups. And let me do this while I put my jacket on. Italy do some really great, there we are, some really great pasta options. So, not like your traditional penne con chili, tali tali, they're all lovely, but um, Italy do some really fab different varieties. So, that's why we're gone. Um, and I also need to, well I don't need to, but I really um, want to pick up a candle holder in the White Company. We got a voucher for Christmas and I saw them online and they're really nice. I think they'll look really quite like dainty in the fireplace, so um, yeah. Although with your waggy tail, might not be a good the idea. dainty. And glass. Labrador. <laughs> oh, we do have some White Company lanterns already on there, so I think it will look really quite nice and then we're going to come back and finally after living in this house three months Zara has curtains in her bedroom uh, so yeah we ordered some Zara ordered some so the downstairs ones are bespoke because the length was longer than anything that was available online but the upstairs ones were slightly shorter so we got them where was it Dunelm, Dunelm. so I got them from Dunelm so 20% off sale it still yeah, I still have it on. I checked oh. the other day. How confident are you that they're going to hang correctly? They won't. They just won't. Because <laughs> it does. I'm just, you know, it's like if you, everyone has a naked neighbour. And if you don't have a naked neighbour, you are the naked neighbour. Are you thinking you're the naked neighbour? I am the naked neighbour. So I'm really, really glad to put an end to the show. Maggie, is your mum the naked neighbour? Oh, dear, the thing she sees. <laughs> Or are you the naked neighbour? Do you flash yourself in the window when we're out? I do not. Maggie, do you put that coochie out there? <laughs> also, I need to show um, Maggie's new water bowl. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
you would use Zara and pottery painting. Um, and uh, so this is homemade. Zara made this from. No, I didn't make it. Well, no, you you Thanks. painted it with the M and the hearts on the side. This is also Maggie's new slow feed ball because. She's a greedy it. Labrador, exactly. But yeah, do you know what? It's grown on me. Initially, when you brought it out, I was like, oh my goodness, why is it orange? But it wasn't intentionally orange, apparently. What was it meant to be like a... It was meant to be like a... Pastel! It was meant to be a pastel, like a flower pot, like this sort of. Like a terracotta. And it did look that colour, and I've now been educated by too many people to tell me that when you put it in a kiln, it gets darker. And I For thought the place I went was really nice. It's called Bon Bon Pottery. When and they... Pontoon Dock, right? Yeah. And Pontoon Dot, they're really nice. I think it's like one of their most Instagrammable ones in London, but they don't teach you the basics. Like, if you paint it pastel, it will be neon. So, um, yeah, go with warning. But it's lovely. I like it. I, at first, I was like, mmm. It's got like an abstract look to it. I feel like it, it will make me more like arty. Mm. Like, if we had a child, I'd be like, oh my god, yeah, Dottie painted that for us. But Yeah, if I had a child and they bought that home, I would go. <laughs> And <laughs> jump in on the floor! I've only kept it because I had £30. Pounds. My god, yeah, it was £30. Pounds. £30, pounds, Zara, for a water ball! God. And she did it out of the trough. Did you know it was £30 pounds prior yeah, to doing it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was oh, winded. My eyes wide open. Right, Maggie, should we go for a Right, okay, we are going to leave and um, head, head to Italy. My company isn't open till midday, so we're going to do the shop before and then head to. White company. And then walk Maggie because it's such a gorgeous day. Look at those blue skies. Beautiful. <laughs> we have arrived. Oh my goodness, they've still got the Christmas decorations up. Yeah, I need breakfast too. Let's head on in and get a little brioche and a cappuccino. Zara's gonna practice her Italian. Aren't you? Oh, should I? No, 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 I'll come on the next one. Let me on. Gosh, these doors always stress me out. Oh, there we go. Ah, ciao. Buongiorno. No. Rice, we have breakfast. We've gone for an almond croissant and a cappuccino, and Zara's gone for a cappuccino as well. Oh my goodness. Italy croissants are sublime. Look at the layers. I mean, they want to be. They're £3.50 each. <laughs> so, not the cheapest of croissants, but there we are. Have I slept with one of Verona? I don't think I have, have I? Let me know in the comments if I've already said this, but um, for Zara's birthday present, I bought us some really, really cheap flights to Verona. And it's, so we're going to be going uh, in February to Verona. So it's going to be a winter trip to Italy, which we've done Italy before in the winter and it's absolutely beautiful. So um, yeah, we need to get brushing up on our Italian. I know Christmas has been and gone, or even now we're in Italy, one Italy. However, um, I'm still very much here for the Italian decoration. Oh no. So last time I was in Italy, I actually flooded. I just saw the wet floor sign. I was like, not again. <laughs> anyway, um, they have a lovely restaurant here. Have you eaten? No. I've never eaten in this restaurant, but I've heard it's really lovely. Um, maybe we could do that one time. Yeah, we've got some ideas of what we want. I'm sorry. Um, some ideas of what we want. So we're going to have a little wander and grab some bits. This is what I'm saying. Like the pasta variety is just amazing. Like, look at this farfalle, but you've. They've called it fi Ficetti? Ficetti? Oh my gosh. Giggly. It's £2.40 a bag. Should we get some of that? That looks lovely. Look at how vibrant this Radicchi looks. God, Radicchi is absolutely stunning. Wow. Beautiful. This I've never seen before. This is Tardivo Radicchio. Amazing. Or Radicchio. I think it's Radicchio. Anyway, yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah, the rainbow carrot tart. Oh my god, look at those heritage carrots. They look gorgeous, don't they? Wow. Gorgonzola dolce. Look at that sweet and mild. That with pears would be gorgeous. I hate cheese. <laughs> That's nice. Do you want to get some truffle crisp? These are always lovely. I've never had these before. Alfredo's truffle crisps. In the back they go. So, contrary to what many people think, pasta shapes actually do pair with sauces. So you've got orecchetti, short pasta, and long pasta, and each lends itself. So this would typically go with a ragu, whereas this is more of like a creamy sauce, apparently. So there we are. And then orecchetti is predominantly seasoned with vegetables. And there's chunky sauces like a sausage ragu. 
I do love bruschetta. I think a lot of people call this the pig ear pasta because it does look like little pig ears. <laughs> This is a bit of a niche thing, but I love my Burford brown eggs, but these are the Rich Yorks, and they're really, really nice. They're from St. Ewan in Cornwall, where we spent New Year, and they're really good eggs. If you do have them near you, give them a try and let me know what you think. Oh, stop it. This is where, like, the <laughs> most people like designer shopping and being in Chanel. This is my version of Louis Vuitton with pasta. <laughs> love peachy. This pasta is so nice. This with um, truffle and black pepper and like a lovely like uh, um, cacio e pepe is so good. Amazing. Just got a bottle of this olive oil. because This is delicious. We use this sparingly more so not to cook or fry with but to add flavor on salads. It's delicious. I don't know about you guys but I always get so excited about like crisps from Europe. Like layers are delicious. I know they don't have layers here, but like I don't know what it is, but I feel like the crisps abroad just taste better. Anyway, and the sun. yeah, like sun and Fanta lemon and crisp. So it looks so good. Trying to get some grassini. Look at how beautiful these paratonis are. Don't they look so stunning the way they're wrapped? I love those colours. It just reminds me of like vintage Italy. Beautiful. I'm gonna grab some more amaretti biscuits. Huh? Ooh, mini lasagnas. Like, £6.50 for a micro lasagna is steep, but you know fine well. <laughs> Do you remember when we had these pots? The small ones? Yeah, they were really nice. I got some of these. So they're in terracotta pots, and they're like um, hazelnut and chocolate or vanilla, and they're really nice. They're quite expensive, but they're lovely. Well, this is quite the bag full. <laughs> There's a couple of gifts in here as well, so this isn't all for us. But um, yeah, I'm very excited to get all this home and start cooking with it throughout the year. I think my kid and this pasta will last a week. <laughs> right, to the checkouts. Okay, so we're all done in Italy. Didn't think about carrying all that. <laughs> this bag is slightly heavy because we had it in one of those trolley baskets and we're just wheeling around like, yeah, this is fine. Getting on the tube, I was like, ooh, it's quite heavy. <laughs> anyway, I'm Brink Mary Wolf now. I'm gonna swing by the white company to get that glass candle holder and um, get back to Max and hang some curtains. Oh, well, we've watched the video. We've watched the video. I feel like we know what we're doing. Okay, we're in the white company and these are the glass candle holders. So they come in two sizes and they weren't in stock online. So here we are. So we're actually not going to put them on the fireplace because I've just realized how delicate these stems are. So we're going to pop them on the um, kind of like console unit in the kitchen instead. Very happy with them, right? I'm going to go and check out some lovely bits. This wild mint diffuser oil is gorgeous. We have this at home, it smells so fresh. And all of the little bud vases are so nice as well. We've just popped some of the eagerly goods in the back so Zara can carry some of the weight. And that will be much easier. Right, we're gonna go grab some candles for the candelabras and then we're done. Candle holders, sorry. I keep on saying that wrong. They're not candelabras, they're candle holders. So we're back from just popping to get some bits in town and I thought I'd show you everything that we got in Italy because it's looking very carbon beige heavy but obviously we add to this like fresh vegetables. So this is everything that we've got. So I'll start on the right. Um, so I showed you this olive oil in store. This is a really, really lovely extra virgin olive oil. It's a litre of it as well. So it's slightly more expensive. Obviously it comes in the glass bottle so we can reuse that. We've got some orecchetti. And then this is actually what kind of sparked the trip to Italy because Aura went out for lunch yesterday to a restaurant in Soho and she had this pasta ship and said it was really nice. So we're going to try and replicate the dish that she had. And this is cro crocetti? Cris um, how did you say it? Sorry. Crosetti. Is well, that how? I would highly recommend the restaurant. What's it called? Officina. They've got three locations in London, one in Shoreditch, one in Olive Street, one in Fitzrovia. All of that was out of focus and blurry, but I'm sure you could hear that. Sorry, I'm still getting to grips with my new camera. Officina, okay, amazing. That's good to know, I'll leave that link down below. I also got some um, Parmigiano, Reggiano, and some Grana Padano, just obviously hard cheese as we use those quite a lot in cooking. I picked up some of this as well, this is Succozzo, Succozzo? Succozzo, Suc I have no idea. <laughs> I really, really need to brush up my Italian school. Mm, that's a tricky one. Small pasta. <laughs> so you add this to soups and broths. Um, gigli or gilgi? 
giggly, giggly pasta. Um, again, a really nice like handkerchief style shape. We've got some focaccia bread mix and some pizza bread mix. These are just really good to have. It's like a quick panic, need to make something. And then the mutti pizza sauce, we've used this and I've featured this a lot. It's the best. It's really, really good quality tomato sauce. Fileja, um, this is actually for my aunt. It's chili pasta and they love it with pepperoncino. These are for Zara's uncle, because it's his birthday in February, so some amaretti biscuits, because he loves those for coffee. Got some truffle crisps. I got some more coffee beans for my coffee machine. These are just the Rebecca ones. We also got some bucatini and some gnocchi. And that's it. So yeah, a lot of beige, <laughs> but delicious. Also in the white company, I don't think my brother's girlfriend watches my videos, but if you do, Sophie, thank you very much. Um, she sent us a housewarming voucher for the white company. She knows that we love the white company, so we picked up the small and the medium um, candle holders. So they're really nice. They are slightly pricey, but obviously we'll keep them for years and years. And I think the white company home decor is just so nice. They did have a sale on, but naturally these weren't in the sale. Um, so the sales assistant went and got us them in the boxes, so they transport home easier. Someone I follow called Alexandra Dudley, she posted about these. So there we are. So it does look like a oversized, very fancy martini glass, and it could be used for that if you were that way inclined, but obviously that sits on the unit, and then you pop a um, candle in there, like so. And obviously you can get wider pillar candles as well. These were just the ones from Flying Tiger, because they're a lot cheaper than the White Company ones. So yeah, really love those. I think they look quite decadent and um, timeless. So we picked up the small size. Also got the large one too as well. So I'll show you those on the unit in just a second. So we are home from Maggie's dog walk. Goodness, it is dropped in temperature in London. Oh, it feels like ice. Yeah, it's three degrees out there. Three? No, four degrees. Oh, Gosh. Okay. Well, that one degree can. Because we've just bought a lot of pasta, we are having pasta for dinner. But we're having the leftover chili I made the other night. Um, I think we need to freeze the rest. It's probably like the last day. Chilling. Yeah, three days. I also made so much yesterday. I was filming some recipes for Instagram. So I made a carrot and coriander. No, I didn't. It's a complete lie. <laughs> God. I made curried parsnip soup. Um, we had leftover veggies from Christmas. I put them in the freezer. So, Really oh. well. So um yeah, I made parsnip soup with blended up carrots and that a roasted. Really appetizing. It's delicious. It does look appetizing. The soup never really looks attractive. I also made this plum and amaretti crumble because we had like loads of plums. Um some people say make plum jam, which is a really good idea, but we have a lot of jam. And then the last thing I made is this. So this is Look at the colour of that, doesn't that look amazing? So that is ruby sauce from the Dishoom cookbook. And um, it's gonna be for a uh, curry, a ruby curry this evening. So we're all prepped and ready to go. I've got some, this kettle's on. I'm gonna have some pasta, warm up, and then hang curtains. I just want to say lunch was delicious. It's 10 past four. That's borderline early tea. Right, we have our domesticated queen doing some curtain ironing. I bet that's not words you thought you'd ever say in your 20s. No. Am I ironing curtains? Is that on law? Not low, not. <laughs> Imagine! <laughs> Maggie, your man nearly just put a huge iron mark in curtains. So, we watched a video on Donelm's YouTube channel. Honestly, I owe my life, I do, to YouTube. I also owe how I can reverse around the corner to YouTube, how to install blinds, YouTube. Yeah, it's happiness to me. I owe my happiness to I owe you. Your happiness to me, yeah. Just a bit. I make your life happy. I've, I've genuinely, how to do coffee art. I've genuinely Googled. You're not very good at that. Are you quite finished? Well, out. you can't parallel park to save your life. Your coffees are awful, and you're currently butchering iron and them curtains. <laughs> Zara is currently ironing out the creases. Um, we do have a steamer, but we aren't too sure if the steamer is leaving marks on clothes, so I'll show you. Um, Maggie, what are you bringing to this? I am project management. 
And to be fair, they're going to be hung behind a, or in front of, sorry, a radiator. Yeah, on both sides. They will these, drop. these radiators we will change eventually because they're, um, I mean, they're fine, but uh, we want to go for some nice uh, vintage style, like column one. Probably oh, black, cast right? Iron. Cast iron, well, cast iron are more expensive, but like the dupes of the cast iron ones. Um, just to get to keep in with like the theme of the property. And we also spoke to Zara's aunt and uncle who put us in touch with a, like a plasterer, someone who makes like ornate fixtures in houses. So ceiling roses and architraves and cornicing and that kind of thing. So we're gonna get a ceiling rose for in here too. So we ordered these swish curtain hooks. Um, no, we didn't order them, we just got them done out, didn't we? They were like a pound something, so... But they only had two packs, so yeah. we need to hope that's enough. 50 curtain hooks, that's absolutely fine. So the video, I'll link it down below if you do um, want to watch it, but it's probably going to be more informative than this. But essentially, you just pull the pleats in the position that you want them in and then hang them on the tracks. Okay, so we just re-watched the video and Zara's now putting in the pleats. These are called pencil pleats. I'm holding the end of the curtain taut. Why do my hands look so red? They don't look that red in person. Sorry. Sorry, they do, do look too. quite pink. Do they? <laughs> Maybe it's a lighter. Yeah, so here we go. So these are the pleats. And then once you're happy with your pleats, you then secure the end by tying this together. And then you tuck them back in this little section here. As long as one end is secure, your pleats stay in place. And then that's it. Just hang them up. Five, six, seven. So these are the little plastic. Um, what are these called? Curtain hooks. Um, yeah, so Zara's is measured out. So we've got seven rings up the top. So we need seven hooks. Curtain update. We have one done. And they're really nice. Really nice. Okay, so on that end, you're gonna have to, um, I'll tell you what, let's flip you around. I'll tell you what, it looked easy on the video of mine. Oh my God, that was horrid. <laughs> we've only done one. No, <laughs> took no. us like half an hour. I, I've almost like opted to actively be the flasher. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's just have a look and see what you think they're so shocking. far. shocking. No, they're not shocking. That's not at all. Not, what use of a curtain is that? That doesn't cover the space. That is appalling. So I think you're gonna have to have two then, do you? Yeah. That could look quite smart actually. Pull them back. Oh, yeah, she looks at the Zara. Yeah, do two. Go through that again. Well, we've got two. You've paid for two. You might as well use two. <laughs> it's not funny, is it? <laughs> That's not right. It is. No, I just need to see how she does it. I just showed you. No, I need to see it properly. Because... Oh, I see. You've been looping them through. Alright. We've learned that, um... Well, I think I kind of... Just on fresh eyes, you loop the eyelet. Oh my goodness. Could you just help this part? I kind of need to the vlog, but I'm a little bit confused because what? she's doing it from upside down. Yeah. How do you put that through? Through what? Attach the curtain hook So look, Yeah, hang on. Ah, she does it up. Yeah, and then just spin it around. Bingo. Exactly, Luke. Silly goose. See. Should we do it there then? Zara was putting them through here. Yes, yeah, Zara was doing that. That's absolutely correct. But the world doesn't need to know that, do you? <laughs> I had a proper paddy. I would argue you had a proper paddy oh, there. Like, my you fully says, went, I don't want it. I don't want says, curtains. As a kid, I was a proper like, stamp my feet, throw everything. Like I just, <laughs> like I hated things. Like, I was such an angry little I was rat. like, no, no. Don't worry, like, we can we can fix this. It's fine. I, I didn't recognise myself then. Actually. No. I was quite a horrible In Zara's thing. words, I don't want curtains, I'll, I'll just wait. I will be a flasher. Do you know what, Luke? It's fine, isn't it? Life's actually, a learning. Yeah, you know what? And we've what? never hung curtains in our life before, yeah. now. Many challenges in life, it does just seem that we get most of them, but that's fine. Well, why. I hung the lights in the kitchen wrong, so there we are. Yeah, you hung most things. Do you know what's really funny? Uh, excuse me, I hung these curtain poles perfectly. Well, I just I went shopping. Yeah, do you know what's really funny? There'll have been people watching that last clip being like, they're doing it wrong! Oh, no, could you imagine the fury? Like, I, I, yeah, sorry. We figured it out! <laughs> We are officially done. Obviously, these are just tied for now. What do you think? I like them. I am angry at the fact that I allowed them to pee on my parade. On your Sunday vibes. But imagine now with shutters. 
I just feel like my whole room is giving relaxed. Yeah, it's very calm. Oh. Obviously, the white is not staying, and we're going to be adding window and um, trim and uh, coven. And obviously shutters and everything will come naturally, but for now, the fact that you have curtains is just a blessing. I've just popped the pillar candles in the glass candle holders. How lovely are they? One thing White Company didn't love, the fact that the stickers on the base were actually non-easy peel, so they needed a proper soak and some warm soapy water, but the, they came off eventually, which is absolutely fine, so there we are, they look really nice. I'll probably move these ones over here because it's a bit candle heavy, but I think they look so special. These are the cookbooks I've currently got in rotation here, and actually, this is what Sarah got me for Christmas. You all know I love Stanley Tucci, so this is the Tucci cookbook, so, it's actually um, it's one of his earlier ones. He's just released one with his now wife, Felicity. Um, anyway, this is the Dishoom cookbook. And honestly, it's, uh, it is from Bombay with Love, but I would say this is more like a labor of love because the recipes in here are beautiful, but they're quite long and labor intensive. However, um, the sauce that I made this is the Makani sauce, which is in here. So it's a really thick sauce. I actually made this yesterday and it took about three hours to make in total because it was so much like reduced and so it's so thick. It's gonna get thinned down with double cream we've just got over there. So this is the chicken rubies. I did the marinade uh, yesterday. So it's all these ingredients. And then, um, yeah, I left this marinade for 24 hours. So we're cooking it at see eight to 10 minutes in a grill and then heat the sauce right eight to 10 minutes. So we've got some rice on the go, some naan breads. So it's kind of like an Indian takeaway, but on a bit of a budget. Right, dinner is served. Look at that. So traditionally, it's a take on a chicken tikka masala, which is like Britain's favorite dish, but tikka masala kind of is a creation by like the Western world. So chicken tikka is just chicken cooked in a tikka oven and masala is a spice. So that like bright, luminous red curry sauce that you get in traditional, non-traditional, but traditional Indian takeaways was created for the Western world. So this is literally created and it's red by blended up tomatoes and it's reduced down for like three hours. So that's what gives it that really red, intense flavor with lots of spice and chili powder. How is it? Mm -hmm. Is it good? It smells good. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. So delicious. Wow, it's quite rich, isn't it? It's incredible. Oh my goodness. Right, guys, I'm gonna eat this. Got some naan bread. Do you wanna watch the traitors tonight? I'm so excited. Right, we're gonna eat and watch the traitors. Right, we finished up dinner and we're gonna have some puddings. This is amaretti crumble on top with amaretti biscuits and oats and pecans. And then I did um, cooked plums with ginger, a little splash of amaretto liqueur, and some orange juice and some butter and sugar as well. So. I'm going to portion some of this up, not for a slotted spoon, but hey ho, um, and have it with some custard. And the tray is just so good, we're about halfway through episode one, it's amazing, I forgot how much I love it. Right, I mean that's a hearty portion of crumble and custard, but I mean I love crumble and custard. Anyway, I am going to wrap up this vlog, I really feel like it's been quite quick, but it's been lovely. I am very happy that we've got your curtains ticked off, are you happy? Yeah, I would like to publicly apologise for my straw. <laughs> Which doesn't happen often, it, we never have No, again, I was going to so. say, that is a rarity for you. You're normally the level-headed one and I'm the one that stops, but I think you really... Yeah, actually, I would blame you, because my whole world could be crumbling down and I wouldn't stop. Oh, yeah, she tries. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Lots of love to you all, and I'll catch you all in a future video when we have more strops. Would you like to say anything, Maggie? Bye, guys. Woof. <laughs> See you soon.